you didn't have to have the padding on your knuckles back then. People that were super successful realized you could hit people way harder if you have padding on your knuckles. So Vitor Belfort was one of the first. Right. He was 19 years old and he entered into the UFC. UFC 12, Dothan, Alabama in 1997 and just beat the fat of everybody with gloves on. We're using an instrumented heavy bag which measures force. We're gonna use the boxing glove and then we're gonna use your bare knuckle. Buzz, when you did the boxing glove, we had 641 pounds of force. And when you had your bare hand, it was 776 pounds of force. Yellow, that's fascinating. Despite transferring less force, the early development of the UFC proved gloves are favored over fists when fighting. This match between a barehanded karate practitioner versus a gloved boxer highlights this as well. The karate practitioner is getting his strikes in and even though a bare hand is capable of transferring more force, that does not mean he will transfer more force. Regardless of knuckle conditioning, the bare hand will not favor well versus certain portions of the body. With the Kyokushin karate, you're sparring and it's bare knuckle. And some guys have their hips here, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how I broke this one also. You hit a hip, think you have to get the liver. Forehead being an example. The forehead is designed to take impact, thus there is a good chance the small bones in your hands may break if you were to transfer a strike full force into that portion of the head. But the moment you put on the big boxing gloves, whipping your hands full force becomes less threatening regardless of where the strike lands. Thus, the boxer will be given less to think about and more options to safely land when letting his hands go. Simplifying his job. Simplicity. As Leonardo da Vinci has said, simplicity is the highest form of sophistication. Mike Tyson highlights the same with a contrary example. Not just a skilled boxer, but perhaps the most fearsome boxer to ever walk the planet. Mike getting caught up in a street fight, letting his hand go as he normally would, breaking his hand in end result. With this knowledge, it is an unbiased opinion to say gloves are indeed a weapon. Of course, not to the same extent as say brass knuckles, but in definition of a weapon, a thing designed or used for inflicting bodily harm or physically damage, it simply helps you do just that more effectively by increasing the safety thus simplicity of doing so. This leads to another question. Should we even punch barehanded? I never wrap my hands. I never broke in my hands. Ideally no gloves. Professor David Carrier from the University of Utah wrote in the Journal of Experimental Biology, we tested the hypothesis that a clenched fist protects the metacarpal bones from injury by reducing the level of strain during striking. Our results suggest that humans can safely strike with 55% more force with a fully buttressed fist than with an unbuttressed fist, and with twofold more force than an open hand slap. So the answer is yes, despite the human fist appearing relatively fragile, it actually has evolved to deliver force when properly used, when properly buttressed. It can be a double-edged trade-off understanding this. More damage hitting hard portions of the body, but if you were to take a bare handful force flush against the chin with, of course, solid technique, no doubt it would deal more damage than the glove if it were to do the same. To that end, with more force already in play, Precision and technique become a greater focal point aposta, generating raw power in and of itself when using the bare fist, concluding, gloves are better because of simplicity, but if you do manage to attain the mastery required to consistently deliver good, precise technique barehanded, you make the best what nature has already given you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. It's good karma, and until next time, peace.